The message is loud and clear that we will all stand up together for more love and more light and more tolerance and together we will ensure and guarantee a positive Jewish continuity in Germany and around the world. Well, the Chancellor Olaf Scholz is a supporter of Jewish life and he has made it very clear that there's no tolerance for intolerance and that we have to stand up loud and clear for a positive Jewish life. And for that, we thank him for coming tomorrow to light the first candle. It is truly a historic moment at a historic place, and it really has a great meaning. My family before the war was from Germany, parts of the family. I grew up in the United States of America, and Rabbi Menachem Schneerson, the Lubavitcher Rebbe, sent us here 27 years ago, my wife and I, and he said, where it was dark, bring light. And this is really the message of Hanukkah, standing at this place. We you know the pictures in the 30s, where the Nazis here had their marches. And to think what that, this place represented back then, darkness and hate. And to think where we are now, standing at the same place, 85 years later, lighting Europe's largest menorah. Isn't that a message of light and of hope? And it's important that the government does all they can and more to combat anti-Semitism. At the same time, it's important that on an individual level, that every single person in society understands and recognizes that it's not about the Jews. Anti-Semitism only begins with the Jews, but it doesn't end with the Jews. Those that are against Jews today are tomorrow against other minorities, tomorrow against women, maybe after tomorrow against homosexuals, maybe the day after against all people that respect democracy. So we have to recognize it's not about the Jews, it's about all of us. So it's in our own interest to do all we can to not have any tolerance for intolerance, and that will help create a bedrock, a positive society for a trustful future for, for uh, here in Germany and for all of us around the world. It cannot be that people should be afraid to walk in the street with a keeper. It cannot be that mothers should have fear that their children are going on the train and have to hide their, 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 their David, their Star of David. That is not normal. We have to change the reality and we have to change also the narrative that people should be tolerant for each other. Only by doing that can we create trust and a positive future for all in society.